Here now is Newt Gingrich, former Speaker of the House. His new book, Beyond Biden, is out on November 2nd, and it's available for pre-order now. Uh, Newt, um, I don't think that Democrats have really thought this through, have they? I mean, they thought these mandates, it was all going to work. They did some polling, and they put the polls out there. People like the mandates. They like the mandates, Newt, until they can't get a police officer to show up, or they can't get a nurse on a floor uh, if they're in an ER. Uh, so then, then the mandates don't look so good, do they? Well, look, I think it's deeper than the mandates. You have a system, the American system, which is falling apart. Uh, you have hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants. And by the way, Joe Biden doesn't do anything to apply his fancy rules and his mandates to illegal immigrants. They don't get tested. They don't get vaccinated. We don't check on them for health reasons. So somehow, American citizens can be punished by their own government, but people who show up here illegally get flown around the country, get shipped around the country, get taken care of. The taxpayers are funding all of the illegal immigrants who are not required to do any of this. But there's something deeper going on. They can't unload the ships. They can't find the trucks. They can't get the economy moving. Uh, they, are cons they can't get children educated. Go down the list. Their system, this, this entire big government socialist system, is falling apart. And their answer, of course, is to use the power of the government against the American people. That's why you have the attorney general trying to sick the FBI on parents who go to a, to a school board meeting. I mean, we've never, not since the Civil War, have we seen this kind of intense anti-citizen behavior. And this is happening because the left knows they're a distinct minority. They know that the country is going to repudiate them, and they are desperate to enforce on you and me and everybody else their rules. And what's beginning to happen, as you just saw in Chicago, as we saw with Southwest Airlines, people are starting to figure out there are more of us than there are of these left-wing nuts. And I think you're going to see more and more resistance on every front, not just uh, in terms of the mandates. Yeah, and, and Newt, I think Biden <clears throat> wants us to believe, though, that everything is going, uh, going according to plan. We're headed in the right direction. We have critical work to do, but we can't let up now. My team and I are doing everything we can, but I'm calling on more businesses to step up. That's how we put this pandemic behind us and accelerate our economic recovery. Newt, is pressuring more companies to impose these mandates going to help this jobs uh, crisis that we're in? They, these companies can't hire employees. Well, look, when I hear Joe Biden talk about plans, I think, first of all, about the withdrawal from Afghanistan, which was a disaster. I think, second, about whatever his plan is for the border, where Kamala Harris is absent without leave, and it's a disaster. I look at the 60 ships that are stuck off of Long Beach, which is a disaster. I look at the, they're already telling, starting to warn us that the Joe Biden Christmas is going to be a very narrow, lean Christmas. Uh, you look at the price of uh, meat, which has gone up dramatically, the price of gasoline, which has gone up dramatically, the number of jobs that are unfilled, uh, the number of trucking companies that literally can't find truckers. Uh, and you look around and you think, if this is the Joe Biden plan, it is a disaster. And I think all of us have to, let, let's look at, pragmatically, facts on the ground, not statements from the White House that have no connection to reality. Newt, we're just hearing, by the way, tonight that the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals has uh, ruled in favor of allowing Texas's abortion um, law to go forward, uh, which, of course, overturned that district court um, initial decision saying it couldn't go forward. Uh, so that is also good news for the pro-life community across this country, and also uh, a sign that, look, they're, they're in for a fight on multiple fronts, and they wanted these culture wars by taking this decision away from the people, and they've gotten these culture wars on their hands, and uh, here we go. It's probably headed to the Supreme Court. I think, I, look, I think that's right on every single front. It's right on the whole issue of racism. It's right on the whole issue of, of law and order. It's, it's true in terms of abortion. And I think we're going to have a very healthy national debate about <clears throat> what, what is viability. I mean, the original Roe versus Wade uh, has, is totally obsolete now uh, because it's based on medicine 
that's uh, 40 years old and, and no longer true, or 50 years old, it's no longer true. So I think this is going to be a period of time when the American people come to grips with themselves. And what you find on the left is that the big government socialists basically are a religious movement. They're a secular religious movement. They can't deal with reality. They can't cope with facts. If it doesn't fit their narrative, uh, they just shrug it off and refuse to pay attention to it. Right. And I just want to go back to one thing I said earlier. If you're an illegal immigrant, none of Joe Biden's requirements apply to you. If you're an American citizen, he's willing to use the power of the government to coerce you, to force you into losing your job. Yeah, well, if you're an American cut off citizen, your unemployment. Yeah, you're They're a second class. You're not to fly on an airplane. Yeah, you're a second now, class why citizen. Why is it that Biden is so pro illegal immigrant and so anti American citizen? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.